name is Saif al Amara, and my colleagues and I would like to talk about the Emirati culture and its artifacts. My partners are Mohammed Salim Kfiri, Abu Bakr Hussein, and you want to say? Barak Ziyad. First, let's talk about the Dilla. Uh, the dilla is commonly used in our houses for pouring coffee and uh, it's a symbol for relaxation. Secondly, Khizran was adopted from the Bedouins and it is used for national celebration and for dancing in Medina. Next is the Ghatra. It was made up to the horse fur and protect us from the sandstorms. Tutorial video because I've been asked a bunch from you guys about how to tie one of these headscarves. This is the Shamakh or imama, it depends where you are in the Middle East or where you are in the world and what they call it. So really simple, you can tell I've had one on for most of the day, I went for Eid Namaz, so my hair is settled down. But what you need is you need one of these. Okay, you can go to any kind of like uh, Middle Eastern kind of shop, uh, Islamic shop, wherever, you can buy it from like the army stores as well. Now I've just got a plain white one. Now what you do is it will come in um, a square shape you need to turn it into a triangle first like this what I've done here just line up the two edges put them together once you've done that um, what you do is you fold in slightly here I and mean, this was all ironed and everything but what I've done is I've kind of folded it in like that okay now what that does is it acts like a base that will sit on your head and then you basically wrap around that now there's various styles of doing it and this I learnt in Ras al in the UAE and various areas like in Abu Dhabi they have a different style and Ras al they have a different style, Sharjah, Ajman, all these different places will have different styles and it gets easier um, based on the amount of times that you do it. I do it practically you know almost like daily now so I, I can put it on uh, easier but it's still a bit of a challenge so be patient so what you need to do once you've done that once you put it in a triangle shape once you've moved it up moved a certain part up I would move like maybe maybe a hand more than a hand kind of thing just fold it over okay put that on top of your head like this and you use the mirror to line it up and because we've got no like skull cap underneath you've got to kind of push down your hair or whatever to one side so the thing is is the the style the Emirati style is it's very close to the eyebrows so you do this okay move one side across like that and what you want to start doing is you want to start folding this and what you do is you fold it in this format so what you should end up with are like like a square shape there once you do that I'm going to use the mirror Move it down like this, turn it around, like that, and you simply wrap and just put it into one of the corners over here. Now, you can see it's a bit sort of puffy at the top, so what you do is the loose end over here, just gently pull that down so that it kind of contours around your head. Now, this side over here, this is kind of like my style, um, and somebody showed me this in Russell Khaimah. This style over here, what you do is you pull this now from the back to the front and you start doing the fold here as well 
Now, because this is the side that everybody will see, you've got to kind of make sure that this fold is a bit more neater. I just prefer to have it that way. Like I said, in Abu Dhabi, they're not so obsessed about getting it as neat. Now, what I do, look at the back over here. If you do it like this, you're going to end up with this side, which, how does that look? That's a bit messy for my liking, but you can do it that way. But what I do is I fold it up like this, and then I kind of have another fold at the back. Perhaps tuck that in over there. And then I bring this round to the front, over here, okay? And then with this end over here, you just tuck it in to that side over there. Now, I like this style because one end is kind of like this, covering the ear. And then this side looks kind of rolled up. It's just a bit more easy if you want to talk on the phone, like it's not covered up ear-wise. So that's it. It's as simple as that. And then this is what you should end up with if you want to neat it up. Just pull that slightly, you can see that they're tucked in from the side, you can put that to one side, you can let it hang at the back. That's how you tie, tie a shamach based on the Ras al-Khaimah style, the Emirati style, with a slight m tip, a twist. I hope that helps and uh, leave a comment down below and share this with other people because there's a bunch of people who want to tie this for Eid, other special days. This is how you do it, nice and simple and easy. And the burga was made out of silk and was used to cover our woman for religious reasons. In fact, my grandfathers, they had a hard life living and they challenged themselves to live. And they have a lot of works such as fishing. And they go to fishing by building some special boats by special handmade. The finding of fossil fuels and the unification of the seven Emirates have greatly changed this country in many ways. And before Sheikh Zayed, it was a desert. Now it uh, has roads that expand throughout the country. It has buildings that uh, touches the sky. And we have uh, airports that can travel throughout many countries. And we're planning to have a metro by 2015 that will help take us from Abu Dhabi to Dubai in a matter of minutes. We're famous for Charles Dickens, the famous author probably some of the oldest palaces in the world, um, where we'll have a lot of the, uh, I can't think of any artifacts. <laughs> we have um, the Mary Rose, which was King Henry VIII's uh, flagship that was salvaged from the sea, and is now on display in uh, Portsmouth. Very well. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We got one of the seven wonders of the world, that is Taj Mahal in Agra. And we had so many cultures having more than 500 languages in India. Where officially it is 13 and all so many languages are there, different cultures. We maintain our culture by celebrating it and uh, we maintain our culture by celebrating it through National Day and the clothes we wear and our dialect of the Arabic language. Our cuisine and cultural centers help maintain our culture and teaches our children about it. We them promote our culture and help make it more well known. Expo 2020 will also help our country become known throughout the world. If you were to ask me if our country is a melting pot or a salad bowl, I'd say it's more of a green salad because some of the cultures that are located in this country are preserved and practically untouched.